Good morning. It's great to see the Elite Football back today and a live chat webinar as well. Premier League, I did think uh, the market was a little dismissive of Burnley and the odds did go from odds on out to 2.15 with Bet365. Burnley did score first, arguably could have taken them on there. Took a while though, <laughs> 92nd minute equaliser for Luton Town. Remember, relegation threatened sides and newly promoted sides meeting each other. They'll be expecting three points. So it's going to be more competitive than that dismissive odds on quote for Burnley. Bayern Munich, precisely what you expect. 3-0, 3-1, any other home score. Nearly 20 minute rule, but not quite. Welvik and Heracles, arguably a trade here. 0-1 to Heracles. A penalty to start things off. So you could have taken them on. Odds on favourite at home. In play stats, pretty strong as well. Four shots on, three off, one corner. Good in play stats, both half dominating the shots count. So the equaliser for Valvik did come via a penalty, but the pressure was there. Something like eight shots in total. So on that basis, you could have made a profitable trade there, regardless of what happens after the 1-1, of course. Here's to Divisi. Both teams to score over two and a half goals. Well, one, two, three over two and a half goals. The other's 2-0. Sevilla and Alaves. This was a surprise early result. 0-2 Alaves. Sevilla were dominating the early exchanges. I suppose at this stage, 0-2 up. You're going to get short odds to lay, big odds to back. Sit back and hope for a recovery. Well, you, you'd have got a 2-0. And then Desmond 2-2 late on. So a good trading match that. And I would have been with Sevilla here I think especially at the 0-2 their in-play stats were excellent 19 goal attempts in total 13 off target is probably the reason why they've lost the match 8 shots off target second half as well really good stats from Sevilla yesterday did deserve to get something out of the match Championship Holland Norwich again another drifter from evens out to 2.25 I wouldn't have had a strong opinion there. And that's it yesterday. On to today. Chelsea against Fulham or automatically London Derby. So be very cautious there. OK. And this is arguably a Derby style match as well. Newcastle have been in brilliant form, but they've started losing at home as well to Nottingham Forest recently. Something's going to have to change to end this woeful run from the Geordies. Mostly occurring away from home. They were exceptional at home uh, until Chris Wood returned and scored that hat-trick for Nottingham Forest. You'd be expecting Man City to rub their noses in it today, but uh, had Newcastle taken this break as an opportunity to regather and get back involved again? So let's have a look at some of the other matches. Spanish La Liga. Atletico Bilbao, Real Sociedad, 1.95 to Bilbao. Good on beaten form for both sides, both keeping clean sheets as well. So this might be tighter than the odds on quote suggests. Speculation might want to back 0-0 pre-match just on the basis of those clean sheets. Sociedad's recent 2-1 defeats away against the top five. And they're playing another top five side today, fourth against sixth. Is that damning? Is that going to favour Atletico Bilbao? Real Betis and Granada. Betis are default choice because Granada just keep losing away from home. Only two wins all season. Five consecutive away defeats. Betis are plagued by draws, which is their Achilles heel. But it also prompts us into backing Betis if Granada score first. With such poor uh, over two and a half goal record for Betis, can we back 0-0 pre-match? Only six over two and a half goal matches all season for Real Betis. Telling Serie A, Genoa and Torino, 2.7 the favourites. Take the hint. Salernitana are away at Napoli. They were very impressive against Juventus. 
albeit at home. Took Juventus a long time to get the winner there. Napoli failing to score in six of the last eight matches. That's quite something. So we might have a shock on our hands today if Salernitana are as tough to beat as they were at home to Juventus. All wins for Napoli though coming against 13th and lower. They play 20th today. So you'd really be expecting them to bounce back. But Salernitana are impressing under Inzaghi. Verona against Empoli. Only three wins all season for Verona. 18th against 19th. Trust issues with these two is the problem. Empoli have been very tight against 16th and lower. 0-0, nil, 0-0, nil, 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 nil 0-1 home loss, 1-0 home win. Monza against Inter Milan, 1.44 for Inter. Monza look to lack a goal threat and Inter should keep them to one goal maximum if they are to score at all. That's how I'll enter this match. We are going to expect two goals at least from Inter Milan today as well. They've scored in the last 19 matches. Bundesliga, Augsburg against Bayer Leverkusen. Do remember they're coming off the back of a winter break. So the form lines might be skewed by that lack of momentum. Both teams have scored in Augsburg's last eight matches. Leverkusen can be relied upon to get at least two goals today. So let's hope Augsburg score first. We could see a goal before half time as well. Only one nil nil at half time all season for Augsburg. By Leverkusen, even in friendlies, scoring three plus goals. Freiburg against Union Berlin. Freiburg coming into this prior to the winter break in pretty good form. Three wins and a 3 2 loss. Unbeaten in five at home. Eighth against 15th. Freiburg unbeaten home and away against 10th and lowest. So you'd be favouring the home side here. Don't forget with Union Berlin, if the market speaks in their favour, the market tends to get it right. But uh, as you can see, evens for Freiburg. So I, I would suggest a positive performance from Freiburg today. Köln against Heidenheim. Only two wins for Köln all season, yet they're favourite. Now, could this be that Union Berlin effect? A side in such poor form, yet the market's not dismissed them. They did that twice with Union Berlin, and they got a draw and a win out of it. So watch out for a positive performance from Köln if the market's got them right, because they're in really poor form. No reason to suggest why they'd be Evens' favourite. Three consecutive wins prior to the bake for Heidenheim as well. That's been roundly ignored by the market. Mainz and Wolfsburg. Mainz, trouble even scoring, even if their in-play stats are impressive. So do remember that today. Okay, they failed to score in four of the last six matches. Two consecutive nil one home defeats. Only two wins since the 7th of October for the Wolves. So again, two dodge pots here. Leipzig and Frankfurt. Three defeats plays four defeats. These two having a very good season, aren't they? It's a top six clash as well. Leipzig have beaten third to 11th at home, scoring three plus goals on four occasions. They'll, they'll be feeling confident. They have scored and conceded at home against the top nine though. So you'd be expecting a Frankfurt goal at some point. Five one nil defeats at half time away for Frank. So watch out, especially if it's nil nil after 30 minutes. Leipzig might just score before half time. Darmstadt and Dortmund, 18th against fifth. Darmstadt, bottom of the league. Not beating the top 10 side home or away. Only one win in eight, though, prior to the winter break for Dortmund. So is that winter break going to help get rid of those three 1-1 one -one draws in four matches? Three score draws and four away. Both teams have scored in the last seven. Dortmund have only lost to the top four. Thought I'd have a look at the Eredivisie today as well. Fortuna Sittard and Sparta Rotterdam, 2.25 the favourite. Don't fancy that one. Top 10 clash. Huge gaps in form for Fortuna against the top 12. They've only played two of the top 12 and they're playing 7th today. Sparta can't be discounted on their four away wins against 9th and lower. 20 against AZ Elmer. Almost a derby style match. This one is a top 4 clash as well. So I don't think any favourite is going to be a deserved favourite. The only holes I can pick in AZ's form is their defeats have all come in the last six matches. Uh, but these two, as I say, top four. 
Pex Voller here in Veen, 2.3 the favourite, leave that one alone. PSV 1.04, a real rare side PSV, coming into the new year, 100% wins. Unbelievable, Jeff. They tend to score first at home and lead at half time. No nil nil at half time at home either. Fits in with that 1.04. Don't forget the 1.01s recently produced 9 nil and 12 nil results. Shade a bit off that. You might want to have some fun with a 6 nil, 8 nil, 10 nil, or 5 nil, 7 nil, 9 nil, something like that, if 1.04 is accurate. Don't forget, keep an eye on the odds because if it's nil nil late on, I could still even back 3 0. I've seen these kind of comebacks very, very late. So it's great to see all of these elite leagues returning. Live chat webinar for you at half past two. I hope you can make it. They've been in excellent form on a Saturday and a Sunday. Don't forget, we've got Spanish La Liga too. We've got the Turkish Super League, which is uh, just relentless at the moment since Christmas, nearly every single day. It's going to catch up with a few of these teams, that's for sure. African Cup of Nations as well. Ivory Coast, it's competitive, so I don't mind trading internationals when they're competitive. Best thing you can do to get an early gauge is to look at the FIFA World Rankings. The men's rankings, and we're going to look at the African football. Men's rankings, here we go do a bit of contortionist work with my mouse. Going to get the right CONCACAF. Is that, is that Africa? No, it's not. CAF. There we go. That's Africa. So we're going to be looking at Ivory Coast and Guinea-Bissau. I-V-O-R-Y. Cote d'Ivoire, probably. C-O-T-E. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire. 49th against Guinea-Bissau. So I'll do Bis. Guinea-Bissau, where are they? 49th against, no, they're not there. G-U-I-N-E-A, let's try that. G-U-I-N-E-A, that's Guinea, that's Equatorial Guinea. And that's about it there. So I'm not sure that's Guinea-Bissau. We've got a few more here. B-I-S-S. -S. There it is, 103rd. So 49th or 47th against 103rd in the ranking. So that automatically gives you some kind of a gauge to this international here. Look out for team news as well. The Ivorians are full of elite league players. We don't see the team news just yet. Sebastian Haller may have struggled for goals for Borussia Dortmund this season, but it's contributed four of his last five appearances for the Elephants. So we'll watch out for that. So I wouldn't be discounting this. Eight o'clock kickoff tonight for the African Cup of Nations. The Asian Cup, well, it's pointless if uh, Thailand aren't playing, isn't it? Elsewhere, no Belgian football returning just yet. They're still off on their holes. Czech Republic, Tipper Sport League. Got a couple of odds on favourites, three odds on favourites there today. Championship, League One and League Two. Welcome. Three o'clock bonuses for us. FA trophies likely to be too illiquid for us to trade. French League, uh. Monaco odds on at home to Reims, having an excellent season. Rennes and Nice, I thought Reese would, Nice would be shorter odds than this. French League, de. it's a good league to follow. Greek Super League, Lamia got, getting that rare win against Olympiakos latest. Liga Ha'al, all hail to the ale, Hapul Beersheva scoring three or four goals far too regularly to be ignored. Telling Celia B as well, well worthy of our attention, although the coupon suggests it's a tough to read uh, set of fixtures today. So it's good to see all of these major leagues returning. It does make Saturdays a lot more 
potentially profitable as well. Turkish One League, I up sport, Turkish Yorkshireman, Bodrum Spore, odds on favourites, half past ten, so I might have to be up early ish for those. So I'll see you for a live chat webinar at two thirty. All of the details you need are at football trading profits dot club. Okay. The research is there. This review preview video you'll be watching, it's there. Live chat here, live chat webinar, and the chat feed with an accompanying live stream. Now and again, now I've got it working, available there. I'm not sure whether I'll do a deep dive spreadsheet. I might work on it throughout the afternoon. But the problem is we're getting a lot of teams coming off the back of that winter break and form lines will be or the momentum from the form lines will be naturally cut short won't it so I'll see you throughout the day about uh, probably 11.30 start 12 o'clock start and then moving on in 2.30 for the live chat webinar should be very interesting days football have a great day see you for a live chat later on